tutorial for you. And this is gonna be one that you can use with some older curls. So I curled my hair two days ago. Um, thankfully, it stayed in pretty well, but they're not perfect. It's My hair is kind of hairspray and just kind of funky. So I'm gonna show you how you can utilize hair in this state to do a really quick, kind of cute up to um, for daytime or for church. I use one of these big rubber bands and I back combed my hair just a little bit. So you can see it has a little bit of life there. Back comb it just a bit more. I like my hair to have some texture. So I use Trey Semi Extra Hold Hairspray. For those of you that don't know, that's like my go-to hairspray. And I'm just gonna take a hair kind of right here at the base I'm using a three-quarter barrel uh, curling iron and I'm just gonna wrap it like this. And I wanna give just a tiny bit more texture along the top. So I'm gonna wrap, do it just a couple pieces like that before we get started. And that just adds a little texture to the top of your hair. If you do that, and then you just kind of let them stay because don't, don't take them out. And it doesn't matter if the ends are done, it's just about adding texture to the top part of your hair. So see that, I've got those kind of right there. Now I'm gonna separate those out just a little bit, maintaining kind of the big clumps of them because that's what I'm aiming for, for the texture. So I don't wanna take them apart too much. And then I'm gonna separate those. Kind of flop them over. All right, so see how that made it look fresh and fancy? All right, now I'm gonna take a piece from the front here this is the piece I'm gonna leave down and kind of curl off to the side. Next, I'm gonna sort of smooth it out a little bit and then I'm gonna back comb just a little bit more right here to keep those curls flowing in a direction I want them to flow. I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna pull it all back. Now I'm gonna pull this over to the side pretty, pretty well to the right side of my head. So I'm gonna smooth it just a little bit here now I like texture, so I'm trying to maintain that texture. I'm gonna put this really close to my right ear, and I'm just gonna rubber band it, you know, like I'm putting it in a ponytail. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Got it in a ponytail. I'm gonna pull up some of these pieces around here. Still try and maintain some of that texture that I worked to get. And what I'll do is I'll just pull little itty bitty tiny pieces up just a bit higher than the other ones to kind of help create some of that texture. And this side of my hair will be fairly smooth. This side more texture. Okay. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna take a little bit of a hair from underneath here and I'm gonna wrap this around the rubber band to sort of make it disappear. So I wrap it around the rubber band and then I'll take a very small, um, Bobby pin and cover up that that I just made, that little rope pin. So sometimes I have these super mini ones. I think I'm wearing right now one of my super mini ones, unfortunately. All right, so I'll just use this, this size. And what I'll do is I'll put it into the side here of it, and then, bam, you know, this one's kind of big. So I'm just gonna have to put it down into it. So I just put it down into the rubber band. See that hair that's sticking out there? I'm just gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> All right, next, because my hair, like I said, it does have, it's kind of ratty. It's got a lot of texture going on with it because of the, all the curling. I'm just gonna do a very gentle kind of back comb around it, and then I'm gonna spray it down. Next, I'm gonna take these little clear rubber bands. You can buy these in a lot of different places little clear rubber bands and I'm going to take my hair go I would say about three say about three inches down and I'm going to put one of these on it just this clear little rubber band I'm just going to do it twice and I'm going to puff it up all around so I'm going to puff around that little clear area pull it up a little bit and the back combing helps it kind of stay since it's already slightly fuzzy anyway who cares? All right, so I got one of those in. Now I'm gonna take a little tiny piece of hair and I'm gonna wrap it around that. 
clear rubber band. And you can choose to not do the little piece of hair or do it. That's totally your call. If you choose not to, you know, the clear rubber bands aren't going to show that much. Then I'm going to take the little bobby pin, and just sort of secure it in there. Do the same thing again. Going down about three, two and a half to three inches. Two times. And I'm going to puff. So I'm holding onto the rubber band while I sort of puff around that. Pull it up and puff a little more until I get it kind of where I want it. I'm gonna spray it up real good. And this, I obviously am going really fast because it's it's really not a science. It's like, just do what you can do. <laughs> Call it good. Don't aim for perfection. Thankfully, I'm not one of those people that really aims for a lot of perfection regardless. And my hair, so it makes life easier. So I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna bobby pin it up. Pull, pull, spray, spray. One more time, do the same thing. This is, the curls are really crazy down here. So I'm just gonna back comb a little bit more to give it some fullness because, you know, the curls are kinda doing their own thing down here more so. They were up top. Do it again. See how this hair here is like really long? We're gonna take that one and use it for the wrap. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So I'm gonna kind of make it look a little more um, even by using that one for the wrap around. I'm just gonna put that bobby pin in and up. All right. Now, spray, spray. Spray, spray. And then I'm gonna take these ends and I'm gonna fluff them around and I'm gonna spray them. So I'm gonna give this all a really good spray because my hair needs washed anyway. So why not give it more hairspray, huh? And I'm gonna spray this little thing and I'm gonna wrap it. And I am gonna get the ends on this one because I want the ends. So this can be my front curl. Hold it there for a couple moments. And I use my fingernail to disconnect it. And I could let that sit and steady up more if I wanted, but I actually don't want it to be like super duper curly. So I already knew it was gonna probably be curlier than I wanted it. So that's why I kind of been pulling at it a little bit, trying to calm it down a bit. Calm it down, little hair. Whoop. Hold it over to the side of my head just a little bit and kind of make it. Make it listen over here, it's my goal. So, I want it to stay sort of off to that side. Well, I lost some of my texture somehow. So I'm gonna try and get some of that back. Okay, so there we have it. Super quick, super easy. I could put a little hair clippy here if I wanted, which I probably will do. You know, we sell a lot of these at the boutique, so little things like this. Sort of pull that hair back right there. And voila, I might move this one up a little. You're done. 10 minutes to a cute little Sunday hairdo or any day hairdo. Alrighty, so Follow us on the King's Daughter Boutique Facebook page, YouTube, all those different places. Um, we go live every single day with cute new clothes, and we've got lots of tips and tricks on there um, for you all. So, alrighty, God bless you. We'll see you later.